I can't sleep because when I close my eyes, I'm still imagining everything going on. Jaw-dropping images of crumpled buildings, destroyed cities, and lives lost paint haunting pictures of Haiti for Bethany St. Louis. Her eight brothers and sisters are alive and well, but some of her cousins died. She's relieved most of her family survived, but now they face a new set of challenges. She's asking anyone that can to help the people of Haiti. Right now in Haiti, there is no difference between rich and poor. They are all sleeping on the ground. Yeah, so there is no difference between how much money do you get because all the, all the banks are collapsed. And right now, even you have money, you can't eat the money. You need people to provide the essential for you, which is water, shelter, food, and help you to stay alive. Bethany received a scholarship to go to school in the U.S., but this is making it difficult for her to concentrate on her coursework. Despite this latest challenge in her country, she is determined to see things get better. In Haiti, we don't have like many investment people, so and only business can bring money and prosperity to a country. So I decided to study business so I can um, have more people in other countries and then invite people to come and invest in Haiti. Bethany hopes to return to her homeland and paint a new image of Haiti, filled with brilliant hues of prosperity. In Wausau, Margot Spann, News Channel 7.